Guys, we want to give you a quick update on a few things. I got a phone call back from the chiropractor with the results from the MRI. He said that I have a couple of bulging discs in my lower back. Everybody, welcome back to our channel. Guys, I told you a few weeks ago that spring sports are back in session. Owen is playing baseball again this spring and he's also gonna be starting practicing football here in like a week or so. So last night he tried on his old baseball pants that we bought him literally one year ago and they hit him at almost the knees. He has grown so much over the last year that his baseball pants are incredibly small, too small around the waist and in his legs. So we have to run to Dick's Sporting Goods really fast, grab him a new pair of baseball pants and I'm not sure if he needs anything else, but we're gonna get all the stuff he needs to get outfitted for baseball. He's got practice this Friday, so we gotta get him ready to start playing baseball again. Maybe to the back wall here. Got a lot of options. I think those will work. Sweet. Do you want just one pair or do you want to grab a couple pair? Maybe a couple pair? All right, we found some baseball pants. I'm actually surprised at the selection of baseball stuff they have in here given the supply chain shortages, but they are stocked up on baseball stuff in here. I asked Owen if he wanted anything else in here while we're here and he wants to go over to the back corner, which is where all of the workout stuff is. He wants a punching bag for his birthday, but honestly, we have nowhere to put it. So I'm not sure that's going to happen, although it would be kind of fun to have something like that to work out with, but we're gonna go over here and check out what the exercise equipment is they have and see if we can find something that might work for him for his birthday. Let's get that. That great big stand? Yeah. That thing is massive. Where would we put such a thing? I don't think so. It's too big for our house. Maybe. Owen is trying to decide what he wants more. Does he want a punching bag or would he rather have like a weight set for his birthday? He's super into working out right now. So let him look around here for a second and see if he can decide what it is that he's gonna get for his birthday. What are you thinking? Free weights like this, dumbbells, or would you rather have the punching bag? Would you let me get a punching bag? I don't know. So the punching bag is what you'd rather have, right? I think so, because the gym has everything. It's true. Even though the punch bag, I don't know how much it helps you, but it's really anger. <laughs> Take out all your aggression. All right, I think we're gonna wait a little bit on the weights or something workout. He's still looking around. We did pick up a few shorts and things like that that he'll need for practices coming up here. So, gonna get him all suited for practices, football, and baseball. So, yeah, gonna wait on the weights for a little bit. Maybe I'll bring Clay back here in a little while and have him look at it with me so we can kind of make a better decision. He really wants the punching bag, but like I said, we just don't have anywhere to put it at our house. So I have to get a little bit creative if that's the route we end up going. Owen and I are just getting home from shopping and Claire and Carmen are here doing a super fun craft. They found this earring set on Amazon where you take some clay, form it into some different shapes, throw it in the oven, bake it for a little bit, and then it hardens it and then become earrings or necklace or keychain, whatever it is you want to make. Claire made some really Cute earrings last night. They're back at it again today. What are you guys making tonight? So I made a flower and a rainbow and a rainbow thing. And now I'm gonna attempt kind of to make a butterfly-ish. You are you gonna make those into earrings or what are you gonna do with it? I love earrings, so probably. So do you have earrings? Oh well, yeah, show me your earrings that you have in right now. So those are some that she made last night. Very cute. Carmi, what are you up to over here? Um, I am working on making a baby turtle. Cute. What do you do with it? Just turn it into a keychain. Keychain. Cool. So it came with all of these different backs and pieces that you can make earrings or necklace or all sorts of stuff. <laughs> and there is a, a ton of different colors of clay. Holy cow. 88. So, 88? Mm-hmm. So you can make multiple things out of one color though, right? Like it lasts for a long time? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Doesn't dry up until you bake. Really? Even better. These are some of the ones the girls have already made. These cute little rainbow earrings. There's Carmen's kitty keychain and her lollipop earrings. And this is Claire's little flower that she made. So those are getting ready to go in the oven here in just a second once it gets heated up. Claire and Carmen have a ton of super cute clay fixture things made up. Right here on this pan, I'm gonna throw them in the oven, get them baked, and they can start wearing them or using them as keychains very soon. Tonight is a busy night. The older kids all have young men and young women's to go to, so we're having a quick dinner from Costco. We love their frozen lasagna, so that is what we cooked up tonight. 
It's right here, ready to go. It's delicious. If you guys have not tried it, I did recommend trying that lasagna from Costco with some green salad and then some garlic bread maybe. Do you want garlic bread or do you want just salad and pasta? I don't like uh, garlic bread. You don't like garlic bread? No, garlic bread. Oh, you want garlic bread, okay. What about I you, Carmen? I was like, eh. yeah, I'm garlic bread. All right. Clay is just getting home from work and he brought home a nice surprise. Finally, our bathroom fixtures came in today and they're beautiful. Have a little sneak peek right here. This is the shower head. Just one little piece of it. The rest of it's out in the garage. We'll have to wait to bring that in when the summer comes back. But this is beautiful gold pieces and I'm excited well, hey. to see it all go in. <laughs> so. We got to do a little more work on the bathroom tonight. We put it off for quite a while just because we knew that we had some time waiting for those and the cabinets are actually in getting stained right now. They're gonna be a few days, so it gives us time to get the drywall finished up, time to paint it, and then the countertops are actually done today as well, so. It's all starting to come together. Too bad the cabinets weren't ready to go. We could just like hurry and rush it all and put it all in and be done, but we'll get it done. We have like about a week left just kind of some odds and ends things and I'll be ready to go. So tonight Clay is gonna work on the drywall in here. There's some spots on the ceiling that we had to patch up there, it's kind of hard to see, but we're gonna make it to where they blend in with the rest of the ceiling and then let that dry. We can get all the walls, actually we have two that we're painting in here. So everything else is covered in tile. So we have two walls, this one here next to the shower. The and door's the already trim. painted. Yes, the door's painted. So we'll just paint the trim and like right. half of this wall right here. And then this wall will get some paint on with the ceiling and then we'll be good to go. All right, so in order to make the ceiling blend, we're having to cover the whole thing, kind of give it all the same texture look. Best way to blend it all together. Obviously, if it was a bigger room, we wouldn't do this. We'd just match. But since that's small, I can just float it all down and match right here where I patched all the way around, other than like adding on here because you're gonna have two different heights. And good sheet rockers can get it to blend. I'm not that great at sheet rocking. <laughs> Absolutely hate it. So I figured I'd just float the whole thing, retexture it all, that way I know that it's the same, it works. Just going off what I know. Guys, we want to give you a quick update on a few things. I got a phone call back from the chiropractor with the results from the MRI. He said that I have a couple of bulging discs in my lower back. Could be the issue with my legs, uh, but they do not think it's the issue with like my hands. So uh, they want me to go in like for a few weeks, kind of stretch out my back, do a few different things to try to help those bulging discs. But I'm probably gonna need another MRI, you know, on my shoulders up, take a look at my neck and my head and uh, see if we can figure out what's going on with my hands. And Terrier had a follow-up appointment with the knee doctor today. He told her that I'm what? going back to physical therapy. Really? <laughs> because it still hurts way more than he wants it to hurt for me to go up and down the stairs. And even though I'm able to do lunges and squats, it's still not completely pain free. So he's sending me back to physical therapy, but he's making me go to a different physical therapist because the one I was going to before just wasn't getting the right results. Wasn't cutting it. So I'm headed back to physical therapy. Oh wow, okay, there you have it. A couple quick updates on that. Um, we're hoping soon that we'll get this bathroom put together so we can show you the final project there. And Owen is turning 50 here in just a few days and we have no gifts <laughs> zero I looked at dicks today at punching bags but that's what he wants is a punching bag uh. or other workout gear like I'm not sure what other workout gear that we can have we don't have a ton of space in our house so we can't just be buying like random things and so we got to find something that's gonna work something's gonna fit in our house and so I think that's Terry's goal in the next couple days guys we appreciate you watching we love you and see you guys back in tomorrow